Uh, today we're doing something a little different. I got all my gear here, and you're probably wondering, Max, why do you have so much stuff? The answer is, we are doing a 24 hour fishing challenge. I'm gonna sleep over on the ice, and it's gonna be awesome. So, I'm gonna drill a few holes here, try and find the fish, and then set all my stuff up over where the fish are at. So, I gotta find the fish first, so let's get into it. I'm excited. Alrighty folks, we got all set up in the tent here, uh, pretty much all good to go. Um, we'll show you, give you a little tour here of the what I'm going to be living in here. So I'll give you a little tour here quick. So this is what I'm looking at, I got my hole here. All I did was I just cut a hole in the floor and then make some velcro here. We can close it back up or not. So it's pretty neat. Uh, we're in 15 feet of water right now. Uh, I'll have you guys up over here on this tripod. I got some uh, food and stuff to fry out fish and everything in there. In here I got pillows for my bed. Got some tip-ups I'll put out so we can get some walleye. I got cooking stuff, tip-ups, camera gear, got a blanket in there, some toilet paper in case I gotta do the inevitable. Got some pretzels. Over here's my bed. It's a cot. I got two sleeping bags. One for like a cushion type of deal. And another one to obviously use. Here's our reel. Got all snowy from the wind. Because as you can hear, it's very windy. Um, come back around here, we got a rod box. A bag full of some extra clothes and some water and other stuff like that uh, as well as some power banks to charge my camera gear and my phone I got a buddy heater out here keep me nice and warm because this isn't insulated uh, we got our uh, all our baits in that bag and our live bait over there and yeah that's pretty much it we sleeping right here tonight I'm sitting on my little chair here and uh, yeah, we'll do a catch and cook if we catch some big bluegills. We'll fillet them up here on this thing. I brought my fillet knife as well as stuff to fry it up, and it'll be pretty cool. So, 
without further ado, let's get fishing. So, if this is down, we got a fish. Let's go ahead outside and see if we can do some hole hopping. Catch us some bluegill, maybe a perch, and maybe a crappie too. They're all up in here. Maybe even a bass. Who knows? Let's do it. Do it to it. We got butter waffle pretzel. These things kick butt. Crack them up. Mmm. -mm. Pick yourselves up. Some of these are good. I'm not humble about it. It's awesome. Ice fishing, camping out, eating snacks, making videos. It's awesome. I got some soda. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, Fresca, you guys should sponsor me with the amount of things I drink. The amount of these I drink, sponsor me. I'd proudly put Fresca all along the side of my boat. Let's make it happen. Your drinks are awesome. Fresca, only drinking but the most badass fisherman. Check them out. Well, I caught two fish. Believe it or not. Maybe three, I, I can't remember. But, uh, it's gonna get dark real soon here. So hopefully we can smack some fish and then cook them up and then maybe get on a night bite. I'll put some tip ups out. Maybe get a walleye. Yeah. But enough jibber jabbering. Let's try and get on these fish here. We need really need to catch some more. Kind of slacking. Look at this boys. Let's pull up to this other spot on the lake. We got ourselves omega crappie. Look at this thing. Bam. Sick. Awesome. Caught him out of 13 feet of water. Sweet. So we can get, get his friend. We'll cook him up for sure. Nice tall back on him. Sweet. Kind of pissing me off here, Wind. So we got Zatarans. Heard of juiciness. And first of all, we gotta fillet this guy up. Got my fillet knife here. Here's the crappie we caught. I'm gonna go ahead and get him filleted up here. Good 
just cut especially. Put it over the top. I'll see the fish. And second plate. Cleaned up our workspace here. Put the knife away. Now, we uh, get some water out of my back, back here. Yeah, we got some water. Put some of that in there. Oh yeah. Check out the lace. Set them in there. Clean them off. The blood and stuff. And soak in there. We'll uh Get a bag, fill it up with some panko, or uh, Zatarans, my bad. Okay, so we got some Zatarans here. Let me dump it in here. That should be good. So we got our stuff all good to go here, our fillets. Toss them in the Zatarans, zip lock it up, and give her a good old shaking. You want to coat the fish evenly so that it doesn't taste like crap with no breading on it. So get the breading all over it. Here we will. Smack it around. Really make sure you get it all up in there. Oh yeah, they're good to go. Now we gotta get to the cooking process. Ooh! Ah, she was a little clogged up. <laughs> she was a little clogged up. So now you wanna grab a pan and uh, make sure it's clean. Oh god. Golden. Then you wanna get some vegetable oil uh, just got Chris Cole vegetable oil let me see if I can get you some more light here oh let's okay we got some more light going crack that sucker open oh, they didn't even put a safety thing on there sweet so I'm gonna take your hand put a good amount of that in there Okay. Make sure that doesn't spill, otherwise that's gonna suck. You just put your pan on there. We got the uh, oil pretty hot now. So we'll put our crop bean in there. Well, maybe it's not hot enough yet. No, I'm going to wait a little bit longer.
Alright, it's getting hot now that I turned it up and spilled all the oil everywhere. Ain't good. But at least it's cooking now. It's cooking. We just got done cooking up these fish here. There's a crappie. Let's try them out. They look really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know, I spilled the oil and didn't wasn't really a smooth operation, but it's some good fish. Nice and crispy. Just caught it. Awesome. Sweet. Not a good piece. Mmm, 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 look at that. Good stuff. Oh. Whew. It's very hot still. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. Um, I'm gonna go put out two tip ups with shiner minnows on them. Probably out in like 15 to 20 feet of water. See if I can get a walleye. And uh, I might drill a hole in here so I can try to catch some bluegills or something. It's about 15 feet right here. So, I still don't know what I'm going to do about this oil on the floor. But, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alrighty, folks, just checking in here. Uh, it's just been really slow. It's been really slow here. I haven't caught a single fish since I cooked up the crappie. I got two tub ups out. I've been checking them, nothing. Uh, it's currently almost 11 o'clock, so I'm going to start trying to get to bed and uh, hopefully wake up to some tip-ups going off. I got my pole in, uh, dead stick and a minnow about a foot off bottom, so we'll see what happens. We got the heater running, and uh, hopefully we stay nice and warm. The wind was kicking my butt earlier, but it doesn't seem to be as bad now, so uh, let's get to it, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, folks, uh, I decided to wake up. Uh, I got up at around 6 o'clock in the morning, because the sun is rising right now, and I think it's like 6.40 or something, and I just cleaned it up, got it all ready to leave, pretty much, pulled up my cot and put my sleeping bags away and everything. We'll just fish for a little bit and uh, see if we can catch some stuff and then head out. It was definitely pretty cool sleeping out here and I probably would do it again. I'd probably get an insulated tent though because even with this heater on high, this is like just a constant draft coming through here. So we'll uh, fly the drone up so you can see how we're set up here and uh, We'll get the fishing. the smallest bluegill I've ever caught. Holy crap. Look at that thing. Look at it. <laughs> the heck I didn't even know it was that small. 
to be perfect bait for something. Look at that. It's like one of those like little swim baits you buy for like pike or something. Alright, I'm gonna call it a day. If you guys enjoyed the video and this little challenge, please leave a thumbs up as well as a comment in the comment section below. Um, also suggest some other challenges I should do as I'm open minded to what you guys are thinking. So, other than that, I'm just going to pack up my stuff and uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.